back to my channel it's your girl embracing princess back at it again with another video if you're new welcome join the family it's all love over here <laughs> happy valentine's day everyone today is truly truly a lovely lovely day it's love in the air you know for everyone out there that's basically in love and finding love or whatnot whatever it is it's truly out there for everyone and i hope everyone is having a great time me personally i do not and I repeat, I do not celebrate Valentine's Day like that. Me and my husband, we show love every day. There's no need for just once a year type of thing for us. We just, we love showing each other love every single day, giving gifts just because. Hey, you guys may just want to show love once a year. Hey, it is what it is. But me and my husband, we do it differently around here. We show it every day. There's no need for a one-time thing. Yeah, I, you know, it is what it is. But truly, love is in the air because Usher has officially tied the knot. He has gotten married to his longtime girlfriend, Jennifer G. I do not want to mess up her name, but he has officially tied the knot, you guys, on Super Bowl Sunday. Yep. Right after the Super Bowl, he got married mm -hmm, in Vegas, right, at, right in Vegas. And his mother was a witness as well. It's, it's crazy because, you know, not crazy, but I'm happy for him because I didn't know they was together that long. They was together since i believe 2019 and i was like wow i didn't know he was he was in a long time relationship but i didn't know he had two more kids i just didn't know he was actually in a relationship or whatnot so i'm happy for him you know he's happy and his family is finally complete you know and everything is going good for him he did a great great job um on super bowl sunday and I was, I was just thrilled and happy that he even performed because he really did a damn good job. A lot of people may say he didn't, but he did the damn thing. I honestly felt like it was a great show, regardless of the fact that, you know, some people was coming for him being all on, <laughs> being all on Alicia Keys because she's actually a married woman herself. But if Swiss Beats ain't have an issue with it, I'm not tripping about it. It ain't my, it ain't my girl. It ain't my man. You know, I ain't tripping about it. But Swiss Beats ain't have a problem with it. He he was like, y'all weren't about the wrong damn thing. Did y'all see how gorgeous she looked? My wife looked. They long time friends and everything. What y'all doing, man? It ain't even that deep. So you know, but it, the the memes about this whole scenario of Usher and Alicia Keys was just crazy to me because they had so many memes about this whole situation. Forget about his whole performance. They was just more focused on the fact that the matter is that he was all wrapped behind a married woman and stuff like that. And her husband didn't seem to care because mind you, they do these practices before. So they gave us something to talk about at the end of the day. It was all for show. It was all talk, you know, and everything. And they really got a rise out of everybody. I mean... They practiced it. They practiced the damn show, um, the performance before they did it. They were like, let's give them something to talk about. And they gave everyone something to talk about, okay? <laughs> so they didn't miss a beat. But she did miss, you know, a little bit of, just a little bit of the vocals, you know. It was a little strange. But she did She did a good, she did her thing, you know, at the end of the day. But honestly, I'm just happy for Usher at the end of the day, Um like I said, he's been he's been with her since his girl since 2019, and you know I'm just happy that. And she's actually in the music industry herself. She actually has a management company called Bug and Effects, and it's doing great. And she's also a vice president for Sony Epic, I think Epic Records or something like that. So she's been in the music industry for a long a long period of time, and. Her mom, I believe, was like a director for something or another that was within the music industry. So she's been in this game for a very, very long time. And she's actually from Miami as well, too. So I'm from Miami, too, girl, Florida, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just happy for them. You know, everything came together. It was a it was a very big surprise because, he, you know, he took everyone by surprise that he even got married because we thought he was just out here single you know i heard about her but like i said i didn't know that he was with her that long because i knew he had other kids two two other kids and it was by her but i didn't know that they were still like together and stuff like that so i'm happy for them at the end of the day i wish him nothing but the best in his marriage because i believe this is going to be his 
second or third marriage, if I'm not mistaken. You let me guys, you, 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 you let me know about that because I'm not sure if this is his second or third marriage because I know he was married to his first wife. He had the two kids by her and I believe he ended up marrying another woman. I forgot her name, but he was married to another woman. I think that was managing him at one point or something, but it didn't work out. So I'm not sure if they did get married or they was just together, but I believe this may be his third marriage, if I'm not mistaken, or either just second. You guys let me know in the comments down below. But I'm just happy for him at the end of the day. Um, they had a great ceremony, they said, with close friends and family. Just a small ceremony at the chapel in Las Vegas. And um, I forgot the name of the um, the chapel, but they, they, they did the damn thing with some close friends and family that he really, truly loved and cared about. So I'm just happy for them. They did their thing. Usher did his thing. Even though at the end of the day, we still feel like Beyonce came through with the music, the country music and stuff like that, like I said in my last video, but Usher still did his thing no matter what. And I couldn't be more prouder for him because he was waiting for this moment. He's been in the game 20 plus years and we got to give it to him. Like he's been still doing his thing. This man is like, I believe he's 45 years old. And he's still doing the damn thing, still moving the way he does, dancing like he does. I mean, the man was just crazy on the dang on dance floor when he was at the Super Bowl, like doing his thing, you know? And that's why I say him and Chris Brown, and I still feel like Chris Brown would still be doing his thing, dancing on the floor like this when he hit his 40s. And he's in his 30s right now. So if Usher's still doing it, I know Chris Brown going to be still doing it at the end of the day. So... He just killed it. Like I said, he killed it on a dance floor at the Super Bowl. Even with the skate song. I was just like, ooh, he got the skate song. <laughs> ooh, please don't fall. Because that, that, that was like a little fear when they showed him coming out and the way how he came out. I was like, oh, please don't fall. But he 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 did his thing. He, he did his thing with the skates and stuff like that. So I got to give it to him at the end of the day. He did his damn thing. Nobody can take that away from Usher. He's been in the game for years. So he got this and he finally made it at the Super Bowl. So, and he's been wanting that for many, many years to come. So I'm so happy for him. I'm happy that he's finally um, settled down and got married now again. And things are looking up for him for the most part. He's been in a lot of press lately when it comes down to his music and whatnot and doing everything that he wants to do. So I'm just happy for him at the end of the day. Couldn't be proud of, like I said, um, let me let me know how you guys feel about it. Are you guys happy for Usher and how things turned out for him with the Super Bowl and also him being a married man now? Do you feel some type of way about it? I mean, I'm happy for him regardless. You know, a lot of women was like, oh, why he had to get off the market? And he could have been. <laughs> but hey, he found love and he found his best friend, like he said. So I'm happy for him. That's all that matters. So, you know, let me let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye. Bye. Oh